today. Brilliant day we're having today, quite hot, but you know me, I like it hot. How are you guys doing? For those of you who do not know me, my name is Angela. I am the face behind this Facebook page. I am an online entrepreneur. That means I run an online business and I get to spend quality time with you guys here on my page. Thank you very much to all of you that have been following me, um, all of you that have been engaging with me on this page. Much appreciated. Thank you for the likes, the loves, the comments. Keep them coming, please. And if you're watching today, let me know where you're watching from. Drop a comment in the comment section. If you've got any questions, got anything that you'd like me to discuss on this page that's going to add value to you, let me know and I will gladly oblige. Today I'm going to talk about being fatalistic. And you know, funny thing, I was chatting with friends on Facebook here. Yeah? And it had to do with the leaders that we've got in Africa. So we're basically complaining <laughs> about our leadership. And um, um, if you're Zimbabwean, or if you've got any link with somebody from Zimbabwe, you would know that we love wishing death upon our leaders. And, and when they die, we do celebrate. But so talking to my friends, we're discussing why that was so. And I came to the realization that we do that because we feel disempowered. And we've just come to accept that we do not have the power to change our circumstances. So we are now leaving it to a higher power to do that which we should be doing, but choose not to for whatever reason. And that is very much a part of being fatalistic. And it's not a, just about being fatalistic in our political lives. You will find that even in our personal lives, we are fatalistic. And I'll give you an example of myself. So I was doing those ads and running them on social media, and they're just not working. And I got to a point where I was just fed up. So what did I do? I was like, oh my God, please work this time around. Yeah. And took myself out of that situation and said, you know what, God, you come sort out this ad. But God doesn't work in that way. It doesn't matter whether you, you believe in God or you believe in the universe, whatever your belief system is. If you're delegating stuff to a higher power, you've basically descended into development atrophy. Because that means you're no longer doing anything to advance your personal development. You're leaving it in the hands of God. When he's actually given you the power to develop. So today, I just want to urge somebody to be intentional in, in whatever they do. And I came across this really beautiful quote by, um, this beautiful quote by John Maxwell. And it says, an unintentional life accepts everything and does nothing. And that's exactly what we do in our political lives as Zimbabweans. We have basically accepted what's happening and we're doing nothing and we just say, you know what, God handle the rest. And it's exactly what I was doing with my ads that were not working. Because I just got to a point where I was like, you know, I've done everything that I could possibly do. Let somebody else handle this for me. You know, in that in that case, it was gonna be God, let God handle it, because I've done whatever I could. But, and, an intentional life, on the other hand, 
embraces only the things that will add to the mission of significance. So are you trying to be significant in your life? Is that something that you want to do? Because if you are, and in my case, because I really do want significance in my life, you know what that means? It means me going and researching what makes an art work, researching what makes um, whatever it is the area of my life that I'm struggling with, how do I develop it? And so the more I research, the more I learn, the more I develop. But if I stop and just say, I'm going to be producing the same quality as that are not working, then I am simply going to be wasting money on adverts. And I'm going to be so frustrated. At the end of the day, I will just give up and just wait on God to turn up for me. So I do hope that you are not fatalistic. I do hope that you are the sort of person who goes out and looks for information, who seeks to develop themselves. And so with that, guys, I do hope that um, if you've been fatalistic, Today marks the day when you stop being fatalistic. Hey, Hen, <laughs> how are you doing? <clears throat> yeah, so stop complaining, stop making excuses. Show up for your life, show up for your business. If it means going to look for information, digging for information, you know, then go and do it. Yeah. Be, be, allow ourselves to get into this comfortable position where we just say everything is now up to God, but some of those things we have to do on our own. Anyway, I don't want to take too much of your time, guys. You heard me. Stop being fatalistic. I am stopping being fatalistic. I'm going to do my bit. If it, if it means working six hours just trying to find the right information, then I will do that. Yeah. So take care, guys, and have a pleasant day. So remember, I'm, I'm going to read that quote again. It says, an unintentional life accepts everything and does nothing. An intentional life embraces only the things that will add to the mission of significance. And that's by John Maxwell. So what are you? Are you living your life intentionally? Or are you living your life unintentionally? Ten. It's up to you to decide. Have a pleasant day, guys. And whatever it is you're doing, do, do it intentionally. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>